Being our all-age service this week, uh, the sermon is hoping to bring a message to the six-year-olds and to the 96-year-olds. Do you know any stories about foxes? Fantastic Mr. Fox, Roald Dahl, Fox in Socks, Dr. Zeus, and lots of other stories. And in most of these stories, the fox is a, quite a real, sly, crafty character. But do you know that Jesus called somebody a fox? Can you guess who it was? It was King Herod. Not the King Herod who tried to kill Jesus when he was a baby, but another King Herod, his son. So this story is about a fox. Do you know any stories about chickens or hens? Henny Penny, Chicken Little, The Little Red Hen, and even the book, The Sly Fox and the Red Hen. And there are lots of other stories as well. Here is a different story about a fox and the love of a hen for her chickens. One day Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when some teachers came to him with a warning. You better get away from here, they said. You know King Herod, you won't remember, but his dad, King Herod the Great, wanted to kill you. Well, this King Herod, his son, he's called uh, Herod Antipas, and he wants to kill you as well. Jesus wasn't scared. He looked at the teachers and he said, you go give that fox, King Herod, a message from me, he said. Tell him I'm busy. I've got lots of work to do and I won't stop until I finished. And you tell him that I'm coming to Jerusalem where he lives. I'm not running away. The teachers were a bit shocked and calling the king a fox didn't seem such a very good idea. I really, I wonder if they actually passed on that message to King Herod, it would have taken a very brave person to do that. Jesus loved the people of Jerusalem and Sometimes they got things wrong and sometimes they listened to the wrong people and sometimes they ran around not really knowing what to do. But Jesus still loved them. What do you like, Jerusalem? said Jesus. I'd like to be a big, warm, feathery mother hen so that I can gather my children under my wings and keep you all safe and strong but you wouldn't let me do it, Jerusalem. And I can't help you if you won't let me. And when Jesus thought about the people of Jerusalem, he was so sad because he knew that they wouldn't listen to him or let him help them. A story about a crafty fox and a big loving mother hen is our Bible story for today. It's a short one but one that we can learn something really important about, about God and about God's loving nature and relationship with us. Two really powerful images here, the fox and the hen, contrasting images. The fox is often uh, has a reputation being, for being a sly dog. Sometimes you can see a fox prowling around a chicken coop and around a chicken coop, a fox can be a cold, calculated and compassionless animal. It can scheme up a plan in order to destroy. The fox has a reputation of trying to trick or deceive. So typically the fox cannot be trusted. I won't make any comments today about people throughout our world or our society, but you might know and be able to think of some specific people who behave like a fox. Meanwhile, the hen is quite a different case. This animal is known for its nurturing and protecting behaviours. The hen is a gentler creature that puts its life on the line to protect her chicks. The hen can be trusted. So in today's story, we see some link between Herod, the fox, wanting to kill Jesus, the hen, because he was worried that Jesus would become more popular than he was. And some of the religious leaders, the teachers, were scared that they would lose their power and their status amongst the people of Jerusalem as well. And we see the link of Jesus' love for people, the chickens, for us. 
and just wanting to, uh, the best for them. Wanting to save people, to protect and to care for people. And in this case, the people of Jerusalem. And so we hear that Jesus is like the hen and the people are like the chickens who the hen will save and protect. We see that and hear that about Jesus' deep love and his care for the people. To the point that Jesus is heartbroken when the people of Jerusalem would not let him be their mother hen. Like sometimes chickens want to do their own thing, be their own boss, go off away from the pack and away from the protection of the hen. And even so, Jesus doesn't force them to accept his love. We see in the story that God doesn't give up on Jerusalem. God's commitment to the people of Jerusalem is one of compassion and love. And it's the same for us today and for all of God's people, past, present and future. God always has an abundance of grace and mercy for everyone. Sometimes we, God's chickens, uh, might reject God, might move away from God so that we can do our own thing. But the danger is when we move away from the protection of God, we risk being attacked by the fox or the foxes. What do you think the hen does with her chicks when there is a fire in a barn or an attack by a fox? The loving hen will bring the chicks close to her, under her wings, to protect her children, even if that risks her own life. In a way, that is what we celebrate at Easter. Jesus is our loving hen, and he sacrificed his own life on the cross so that we might be protected and saved. Jesus doesn't protect us with a huge army and lots of weapons. Jesus protects us with L-O-V-E. Love is what changed the world, and it is it was God's love for people that sent Jesus to earth to protect us from the fox. Jesus doesn't judge those who walk beyond the chicken coop, but rather invites them back in. And I believe that we who are under the wing of our loving mother hen should not be judging others who aren't, but rather loving them, showing grace and mercy to them, and inviting them into the safe protection of our hen. And that is really what Redcliffe Uniting is all about. That is what the hub, at the core of what the hub is uh, designed for, is to help bring people back to God into the safe, loving protection of God. The season of Lent is a time leading up to Easter and is a time that invites us to go on a journey with Jesus. As God's chickens, this is a great time to spend reflecting on how close are we to our mother hen's safe wings? Are we putting our full trust in the power of, of mother hen of God? Or are we putting our trust in ourselves? Are we being tricked by a sly fox to wander away from the family? I want to invite us to spend some time reflecting on this message, on reflecting on some questions. Some of you will love this opportunity and others will not. But I think it's really important for all of us to reflect on. You can chat with a few people around you, maybe within your household, or if you'd prefer, do some personal reflection by yourself. Reflect on these questions. Who or what are the foxes in your life that you need to escape from? How can you come closer to the loving arms of Mother Hen of God? Let's spend a few minutes reflecting on these now. <laughs> 